Hi and welcome to Santa's workshop. The hopes that is dark. <coughs> we will change that. First, we will put. Where is it? Here it is. You light a little candle, so we got in, get in the right mood. But. Uh, See, today we made this little snowman here, and we will make. I'm move the camera, of course. And do a little like this. So this little fellow we made, right? You know, all that cotton takes, uh, and we will try to put the microwave in. So that's the best we can do right now. The problem is I have little to little time to change uh, between shows. I have cut it kind of kind of uh, tight. I shouldn't have done that. I need at least an half an hour between each show to to manage it. So here I have more white stuff. <laughs> I have uh, this is oil based clay. It's a, a model clay like the kids use. And to make him, we need to make a carrot to his nose. And in olden days, they uh, used coal to the to the to make the nubs, so we make a little carrot here for his nose. That's the first thing we make because we need to paint it. And to do that, we have some colors here. Be careful not to run over it. No, we will cut it. So, I kind of stuck a little orange carrot color. You can call it, and water if needed. See, I will put it on the, when I have out like this maybe. A little too thick in the one end. Stick it on it. Yeah. And then I'll ball wrap for a while. Yeah. 
this is just a piece of thread. You can use a needle or whatever you have that is long and pointy. Not too much water in this because it's oil-based clay. And watercolor and clay don't match that good, match that well. See, now we have a nose. Side a little, and then we will make ourselves a hat because we need to paint that too. Maybe a little less. Yes. And we will move him a little. Just make a bowl. I need the other hand. Oops! Yeah. Lay down and rest. That was not. So, and squeeze it on the top and you have the rim and then we need maybe we should raise him again I have made him stand a little because he stands on the cotton so he is a little and an angle Shorts, shorts. And you can see I got the mill finished. Uh, maybe, but you can see afterwards on the, because there is so much light here. But I hadn't had the time to put something on it so it kind of get a little and the height is that maybe so and here have a hat and we will take uh, where did I put them I put them here one of these just because they are a little flimsy so a thick needle will be better well it would be better it's just to have something to hold on when I paint it some adjustments here. To plant it in the middle. So why do that do that don't Some black 
Sick call of it too. And you need anything. <laughs> Understand why it go to one side. Thank you. And this is the same clay I used to make models, but I guess you can buy it nearly everywhere. And it's not that expensive. I use as thick a color as possible. So, but And we can do it on the <laughs> so. and then we need some gold pieces of what we shall call them very small at least to uh, to his eyes and his button. So we have oops it's on the one two three four I can see them. So 
finished with the paint stuff. And then we need more clear here. I can see. Oh, I thought I could see holes in the paint. His top, his top hat. And this one, if you remark that I don't roll like I would with the, because when you are a snowman are never that like the plastic one you buy. He's a little more uneven. Maybe that was a little in the big size, or maybe not. Maybe that was. That was fine. He has to look like the ones they, the kids make in the garden. So, a little round, but not too much. more real in that way and oh. and one more for it You can make a big one. If I make a small one because it fits to this. So, oh, it's good. It's for the kit of the imagination. So, now we have a snowman. More or less. And then I make, take it here, and then with this one you can do first the nose. The, ah, maybe that was a big one. That's good enough. It's because I'm standing a little wrong here. Because I want to go away. No. Here and one here. So now we wait a little, then we have some arms, looks like a stick or something like that. So we will take just ordinary steel thread, pine thread, or what you call it, and 
I took four pieces, you can do what you are, want. So, and then I turn this around here. So, cut it off. Which way? Then I have t I took a two pick like this, ordinary wooden one, cut the tip off, and then I took a little because we want uh, to make uh, uh, what do you call it that? I know it, but now I cannot remember it. Something to sweep the floor with. <laughs> I cannot remember your name for it, but uh, I don't matter. You can see what it is. So. And I do the same with that as I did with the. Uh, I just around the toothpick like this, and a little bit of thread. Broom! Now I got the name of it. You know, sometimes. And it wouldn't have helped anybody to say it on my own language. So, oops. One more time, because this didn't end well. We'll do it over again. Because we didn't get this one. At least three we want. So we try one more time. And Take a little of the very long one. No? A broom arm, and shall we 
we hope the nose is dry because we take oops. See that was what I said the hole I made too big. But we will kind of squeeze it a little. But you can just make the hole with a stick or something. That's good enough. And then we have the eyes. And one more. Oops. Oops. He lost an eye. That was not good. So. And now he have hair in his eye. That must be irritating. Even for a snowman. And come on, come on. It is so tiny and it's hard to get a hold on. So, and then we only need one more thing, it's a hat, but we need to color it on the button, on the underside. don't have any pressure when you make them so you can take the time you want and maybe even make them prettier than mine. See? Can you see the snowman? See? Right. And now we have two See if they got in the get in the fight. But uh, he lives here, and this one my granddaughter can take home tomorrow if he can bring it home without squeezing it. So, but that was the one for tonight, and. I don't know what we come up with tomorrow, but we will see. You don't know, and I don't know. So, but uh, we will come up with something. Uh, I will say thank you for joining me, and uh, see you again tomorrow. If I could find my little mice here. So, and I will go back to. To the that was a wrong mice. <coughs> this was the right one. We yeah, have tons of mice. So thank you for joining me, and uh, see you again tomorrow. Tomorrow, bye bye.